Oh, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. I mean, you saw, but like, how pretty. De ti me enamoré, ahí en el club la otra noche, pero sé que no me haces bien. No, porque a vos. Okay. Hi. Um, what's going on is. What is going on? So. It is a Wednesday night, random Wednesday night. I finished work and I headed over to a super, it's not that exciting. Basically, I kicked myself out of the house because all of Jared's friends are in town because they leave out of Tampa, um, out of Tampa support for their cruise for Jared's uh, bachelor party. So there's like just too many men um, in my house right now. So I decided to kick myself out rent a hotel room at the beach and just have myself a little like relaxing night and morning hopefully. I requested late checkout so hopefully I can get a little bit of time here in the morning as well but like work is already looking like tomorrow's gonna be crazy so like we'll just have to see. Ignore this honking zit on my chin, I'm working through it. But I just got here, checked into the room. I actually have a cute view and I did not pay any sort of special rate. I'm at the AC hotel in Clearwater. It's actually super nice. Let me show you the room really quick. Um, it is very spacious for one, but here's the little entrance, of course. Um, I haven't even gotten in here really, but I don't even know. Where's the light? Oh, here, automatic. Ooh, nice. Oh, why can't I stay in hotels like this whenever I need to do my makeup and stuff? But it's brand new, this hotel. So whenever, even when you, you're looking at like Google Maps, like the top down view on Google Maps, it is just like the dirt. <laughs> like this is like a brand new hotel. This is like the little um, like coffee safe fridge situation. Um, and then I like how they have this like long bench and then the desk over there. And then I have a couch, super nice king bed. Um, maybe I can watch some Netflix or something. And then I had, play on the way here I was starving um, but I also have a cute little view and balcony cute oh you guys I did not even know that that was out here oh my god wait how stunning wait I need to grab my phone hold on Ugh. so it was raining so bad when I left when I left my house, hold on, let's see if we can get a cute pic. When I left my house, it was literally pouring, pouring rain. Like I got soaked. And so this makes sense that there's a rainbow. How pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then also, oh wait, you probably can't hear me because of the wind. Hold on. Oh, there's a JW over there too. I'm like such a Marriott girl. That's good to know. I didn't realize that there was one over there. Um, but technically, actually, I don't even know what side the beach is on. Where am I at? I just see water everywhere, y'all. Like, there's water over there. Do you see this? There's water over there. Obviously, there's water here. There's water here. There's water here. There's a, that's the ocean over there. No, it's not. I don't know where I'm at, yeah. I must be on the complete wrong side. Everything else must be on the back side. Like the ocean must be on like the other side of the hotel. It's not like that way or that way. Anyways, pretty, yeah. Um, so my plan right now is to throw my bathing, oh, throw my bathing suit um, and just like a little cover up and go and sit on the beach and watch sunset. I'm sure there's gonna be oodles and oodles of people out there. But yeah, why not? Especially with this rainbow now, like how stunning. I just can't. I'll take my phone out on the beach. I'm not gonna take my camera. The path to the beach, it's like across the street, but it's in between two other construction sites, which is kind of sketchy, but they're building a bunch over here. I don't know what was here before. I can't believe there's this much room for construction, but it already looks so pretty out there. Okay, I'm running. Are you kidding me with this like sailboat? Sailboat? What's it called? The sailboat going through. 
Oh my gosh. You guys. Okay. You can tell it's absolutely stunning, but literally everyone is in the water. So I went and dipped a little bit, but there's like so many people in the water that I don't know if I'll, I don't know, I might go back in a little bit. But it's like bath water. It's crazy how warm the water is. It makes me really nervous for um, storm season, you know? But hopefully it's okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. I mean, you saw, but like how pretty, like how I'm blinded right now, I can't even see, but it's absolutely stunning. Honestly, when you wear your sunglasses, it like looks even better because you can like see more <laughs> of the details. <laughs> um, but I'm happy, I'm at peace. I got back from the beach and I was going to like shower real quick because I got in the water and then go maybe like upstairs to the up to the rooftop bar and get a drink but I was just like not feeling it I got in the shower and then I had to do a bunch of work stuff so I did that and then I put on the last episode of quarterback because Jared's probably gonna watch it we have been kind of watching it together and Jared's probably gonna finish without me because I'm not gonna see him until Monday. So, <sighs> yeah. So I'm gonna finish this and then go to bed. I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do in the morning because tomorrow is my, <sighs> here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. Tomorrow is my um, dress fitting and I like Logie have anxiety about it. And so I'm like trying not to like carb up too much, <laughs> have too many carbs, but there's this SIE place in Clearwater that I really like. It's called Kawaii Bowl. I don't know what it's called. It's called like something with a K bowls. And I really want to go like for a walk in the morning on the beach and then go get acai and like have a little morning, you know? But like we'll see. I don't know. If I can have I need to I just need to have a low carb breakfast basically is my problem. But I want fruit. That's like all I crave. Like summertime like all I want is fruit. But Regardless, I'm gonna go to bed. I will show you what I get into in the morning. I broke my nail, so just don't judge. I didn't even vlog anything this morning, but I got up, um, checked in with Jared. He had a little night already. They were out until like three o'clock in the morning, um, but I got up at like seven and I went for a walk on the beach and then I just got Starbucks and I got egg bites because like I said, I'm trying to be low carb so that was i guess a success um just go back to the room it's like 8 15 i'm going to shower and i got late checkout so went to the front desk and um made sure i had late checkout because i have a call at 12 30 so as soon as that is done i'll just jet out of here and head home and the boys will like i think will be like two ships passing the night i think they will have been gone by then because i need to be at the port at 1 30 so we'll see we will see but yeah um nothing too crazy to report it is another beautiful day it's already hot out but i need to show you the view in the i mean i showed you in the daytime yesterday but i feel like the sun is just hitting different right now so pretty i'm obsessed and the only thing that's weird is that I thought, like, I was interested to stay, to stay here because I was like, oh, like, how does it look compared to other, because all the other AC hotels I've been to have been, like, in the city. So, like, this, like, look makes sense for that. And I was like, oh, what's it going to look like if they put an AC at the beach? They didn't change anything at all. It's, like, very odd. It's cute because they have, like, the rooftop bar and everything. It's a little bit more, like, like, they're targeting it towards, like, oh, you can watch sunset on the roof and stuff like that but it's a weird hotel for the beach like i said but anyways i'm gonna shower get ready for work i'm doing just a little bit of i'm like letting this concealer dry down for a sec i'm doing just a little bit of makeup so i don't look crazy on my calls but i also wanted to show some like random 
samples that like I'll probably be getting the full size of because I have gotten so many lately because I've been putting in makeup orders for like what like makeup for my wedding day and stuff so I have like all new fresh stuff for that day and then also because of essence I got a few free things from like CeraVe and La Roche Posay so I have been trying them because I've still been traveling so much so I just whenever I get minis and stuff I just throw them in my like travel cosmetic thing so that I get a chance to use them and it's nice because I don't have to pack my full size stuff and have like the thing be all bulky you know so hold on, I'm just trying to blend this stuff in really quick so I don't look crazy first off if you don't use this or like, I mean, it's kind of pricey. Like I get it for free a bunch because we work with Estee Lauder as a client. Um, and so I just like always have, even if it's just the, the minis, like we get a bunch of them. I've gotten a couple of free full size ones as well. But yeah, so this is the advanced night repair and I actually really like it. I use it at night and during the day and I'm pretty sure it's fine. I think it says you can use it AM or PM. Of course it doesn't say on here, but I love it and like if you don't like scented skincare then you won't like it because it does have a scent but it's like a very neutral scent it's not sweet it's not anything it just smells like a skincare smell if that makes sense um so there's that and then there is from La Roche Posay I don't even know what this does but it's <laughs> I should look into like what the benefits are supposed to be usage blah blah I don't know, but it's the um, Hyala B5 serum. So I'm guessing it's like a, oh yeah, it's like a pure hyaluronic acid and it has B5, vitamin B5 in it. I'm not sure what the B5 does, but obviously hyaluronic acid is for, um, what it's called, like moisture, which I need. So that must be why I like it. But it also has like a scent to it and I cannot describe it, but it's so subtle and nice. And I don't know why, like the scent, I love a scent. I'm a scent girl, like I like for my house to smell like, I don't want my house to smell like nothing, I want it to smell like something. And it's nice and thin and it dries and it's not tacky. Um, I have like another hyaluronic acid and it dries like a little tacky and I don't really like that. So I'm probably gonna buy the full size of that. And then, oh, another thing that I got from La Roche Posay they don't have with me is the like spray water. I. It's such a silly thing, I'm pretty sure it's just water in an aerosol can. So it like, it's like a constant mist. I don't know what, but like the actual like application of it is like sensational. I have been loving doing it before my makeup, just like getting my skin so wet and like letting it soak in before I do my makeup. Um, it's been the go. So I'm definitely gonna get the full size can of that at some point. And then last thing is the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion and it has SPF 30 in it. I don't know, let me pull the hand thing. Oh wow, it actually works, you guys. Um, this little guy, I love. I have, see, I'm like weird. I like thick, I either want the stuff on my face to be really, really thick, or I want it to be really thin and like go away, especially when I'm like layering stuff. Like be, this isn't gonna be like my main like moisture component in my skincare. But what I like about this is there's like literally zero white cast and like some brands say, oh yeah, there's no white cast, blah, blah, blah. But it still has to like set in for a second. Like I also got a Roche Posay uh, sunscreen and I don't love it. Like I'll be honest, it is a higher SPF. It's 60, so it, pro it lasts longer than that one because that one's only 30, but it's so thick and it goes on like white and white. So I just don't love it. But anyways, those are just a couple little things that I'm excited about. I have like five or ten minutes until I need to get on my computer. So I'm just like killing time, honestly. I need to drive back at one. And I'm like so sad. Like I'm not gonna see like like yesterday afternoon was the last time I saw Jared. I'm not gonna see him until Monday. And it's only Thursday or yeah, it's Thursday today. That makes me so sad. I'm like such a a wimp. But I'm finally running out of this perfume. This was the, back when I was obsessed with those perfumes from Zara, you know? This is the Creatively Shanghai. I actually love this one, it's like citrusy. But I'm literally down to like my very last little drop of it. Also, I 
uploaded my bachelorette vlog finally last night i stay up until like one in the morning doing this it is over an hour long definitely like the longest video i've ever edited and i literally feel like i made a movie like it's so long um and i cut so much out and i still feel like i'm missing clips but yeah it's just <laughs> i'm glad that it's up and i love it i haven't even watched it all the way through yet like since it's been up because like i said it's an hour but i just keep watching the beginning with like the little compilation you know and it's so fun <laughs> i can't